Many, many years ago, I think it must have been around 1962, it was the first time I met Elliot Porter and a good friend of mine who was an artist who's since passed away, George Fick, uh, had been working in Elliot Porter's dark room with him. And uh, subsequently to that, subsequent to that, I was working on a project called the Black Mesa Defense Fund, which really was challenging the whole notion of having a Glen Canyon Dam and the Central Arizona Project and all of those things, which I regard as a total monument as to what not to do in the American Southwest. Elliot invited me to come over to his house and he showed me through his dark room, which was even more fraught with techno fantasy than Ansel Adams because Elliot was deeply into color photography. But he knew that I had to testify before the Congress of the United States concerning Glen Canyon and various other places where he had been really taking exquisite photographs. And so he asked me to pick four photographs out of probably 200 photographs that were there. And I looked at them and I looked at them and finally I said, Elliot, you're going to have to pick them out because they're all too beautiful. I can't cover it. I must say that in that particular moment in time, I don't really recall which photographs he actually picked because we were so concerned with trying to stop the strip mining of Black Mesa. Uh, I'd been asked by Hopi elders back in 1970 to start the Black Mesa Defense Fund to try to stop the, both the strip mining of coal out there and the pumping of water out of the Black Mesa aquifer to slurry coal to a power plant in Laughlin, Nevada, which basically lighted up Las Vegas. And basically this whole endeavor was to try to stop the mining of coal from a sacred landform, a, a landform sacred to both traditional Hopi and Navajo Indians. And so that was where my focus was. And I was looking at Elliot's photographs, thinking how beautiful they are and how can he imagine best illustrating what we're trying to talk about.